Hey guys, welcome to my free code camp tutorials. Today, we're going to be doing smallest common multiple. Again, we're on the intermediate algorithm scripting section. Uh, if you haven't checked this one out already, I suggest you pause the video, try it out, and come back to the video once you've finished. Let's read the directions. It says, find the smallest common multiple of the provided parameters that can be evenly divided by both, as well as by all sequential numbers in the range between these parameters. The range will be an array of two numbers that will not be necessarily be in numerical order. For example, if given 1 and 3, find the smallest common multiple of both 1 and 3 that is also evenly divisible by all numbers between 1 and 3. The answer will be 6. Alright, so let's bring this code to our editor and let's go over briefly what we have to look out for. So the first thing that we got to look out for is our parameter is an array of two numbers, two elements, and it is not necessarily that the first number is less than the other. Because it says here, the range will be an array of two numbers that will not necessarily be in numerical order. So our first task is to figure out which one is a smaller, smaller number and which one is a bigger number. Our second task is what the answer that they are looking for. We need to find the smallest common multiple of not only both of these endpoints here, but all the numbers between. So let's first go over real quick what divisible means. What divisible means is a number is divisible by something else is if that other number divides evenly to the number. So for example, 5 is not divisible by 2 because 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. That is not a whole number. 10, for example, is divisible by 5 because 10 divided by 5 is 2, which is a whole number. So we need to come up with a number in which every number uh, inside like the range from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for this example, they, are all, they all divide evenly the number that we are looking for. The answer for 1 and 5 would be 60 because I presume... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all divides evenly 60. Now, let's look at this example. Uh, they say 1 and 3. Given 1 and 3, uh, the answer would be 6. Now, if you were to just look at the example, a uh, standalone example, you would naively think that all you got to do is multiply all the numbers in between. So like that, 1 times 2 times 3, which is 6. And in this case, that would work, but this Multiplying all the numbers would not always work. As a matter of fact, you might be overshooting if you multiply all the numbers like this naively. Uh, let me give you an example. So for example, what about one through four? What would um, smallest comments of one through four be? Now let's see. We need to come up with a number in which all of these numbers divide evenly. If we were to just multiply all the numbers like so, what would that give us? 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 1 is still 24. So you might think this is the smallest common multiple. Now, this definitely is a common multiple, but it is not the smallest common multiple. The smallest common multiple will be 12 because 12 divided by 1 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we can't just multiply all the numbers like this all the time. So we need to come up with a better way to figure out the smallest common multiple. All right, now that the explanations, I think that's pretty, that's a good enough explanation for now. So let's go on with the problem. The first thing I'm gonna do is figure out which number is a smaller one and which number is a bigger one. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I am going to, let's get rid of the return. I am going to declare two variables, let's small and big. And then now we're gonna figure out which one is a smaller one and which one is a bigger one. So let's do this. If array at index zero is greater than array at index one, then we can say, that the big one is array at zero and the smaller one is array at one. Whoops, one. Otherwise, else we have it the other way. So let me just copy this over, bring it here. Big is array at one and small is array at zero. All right, so now 
we can safely assume we know which one is the bigger one and we know which one is a smaller number. So we have to now figure out what our SCM is, what our smallest common multiple is. Now, does it, uh, with, uh, with what number should we start figuring out what the SCM may be? I propose that we have to start from the big number. Uh, for example, the smallest common multiple will never be less than the big number. It will, uh, the smallest it could be is the big number. So for example, if we had smallest commons, commons from, let's say, whoops, sorry. From, this is a stupid example. Not, not really. It is an example. One to two. Then we know that the answer will be two, meaning that the big number can be a, a smallest common multiple. So we gotta start from the big number and then go up by one to figure out which one, which uh, what the smallest common multiple may be. So we will we will say let SCM be big number, and we will do a loop by incrementing SCM one by one until we get to a number that is actually the smallest common multiple. So we have to do a loop. We gotta check out, let's see if the big number is the smallest common multiple. If it's not, we increment it by one and then we check that number. If not, we increment it by one and then we check that number and so on. So this is a loop that we have to do. Now, normally we know just how uh, up until what number we should go or make our loop till. However, here we don't know. So what I'm gonna just do is do what may look like an infinite loop. So I'm just gonna say, wow, true do something here. We're gonna be incrementing SEM if we didn't find the SEM. Uh, and if we did find the smallest common multiple, I'm just gonna break out of this loop. So let us go on. Now, how do we determine, for example, we started SEM as big, right? How do we determine if this number is the smallest common multiple? What we have to do is we have to loop again through all the numbers in between, including the endpoints, and see if all, all of those numbers divide evenly to our current smallest common multiple. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna assume that our current number, our SCM, is a co smallest common multiple. I'm gonna say, let is SCM be true. And if we find a number where it does not divide evenly, I'm gonna break out of the loop and say, this is false. So let's do that here. We have to do a for loop. We will start from our small number. Um, we'll say let i is small. i is less than or equal to big because we got to check every single number in the range and then i plus plus. So we are looping through every single number in our range and we want to make sure that every single one of them divides evenly to our SCM. So we will say this. If, um, how do we know if it doesn't divide evenly? We use our modulus operator. So let's say this, if SEM mod our number is not equal to zero, is not equal to zero, then we know this cannot be an SEM. This cannot be a smallest common multiple. So we'll say is SEM is false. So this variable here became false. And I guess we can continue in this for loop, but the moment we found one in which the number does not divide evenly to our smallest common multiple, we don't need to check, we don't need to go on in this for loop. So what we do is just break out of it by saying break, like so. Now, assume uh, we have finished looping through all of this. If we found a number in which that number is not, it does not divide evenly our smallest common multiple, we break out of it by saying that and setting this to, as false. Otherwise, it just remains as true. So now we can check if is SCM is true like that, or as a shortcut, you could just say if is SCM, because that's a Boolean variable. What do we want to do if it is an SCM? I guess since we found the smallest common multiple, we could just return SCM. And that way we don't need to break out of this loop. It will just return the function ends. Else, what do we want to do if it wasn't an SCM? Because we found a number in which it does not divide evenly then we just want to increment our SCM. Where is SCM? We started out as a big number 
and we want to increment it up by one and so and continue on with this loop let's see if this works so i know that small is common from one through five should return 60. let me cancel log the result of this and hope that we get 60. let's run this and we do get 60 so that's good let's see if free code camp likes the solution let me bring this over here run the tests and they do all right, so now let's look at a couple ways that we could refactor this question. Uh, one thing we can refactor is this part right here. We could just do this. Um, we can do a ternary operator, which is like a inline version of doing this if else condition. We could say let small is if array zero greater than array one. If that is true, then which one is a smaller one? And we know that array of one is a smaller one. Otherwise, else array zero is a smaller one. And for the big one, let big, we could do the same thing, except flip the results around. If array zero is greater than array one, if that is true, then array zero becomes big. Otherwise, array one becomes big. So that will shorten our answer somewhat another thing we can do is our math uh, built-in math library that javascript has and take use of that let me comment this out and we could do this let's small and by the way since we're not redeclaring these variables we could have also converted these to const instead of let so i'm going to do that from now on we could do this let const small is math.min now this takes in any amounts of parameters and it gives you the most minimum value of those parameters so we can say array of zero and array of one give me the smaller one give me the min of the two and const mat uh not max big math.max of array dot zero and array at one this would also work now if you want to be a little fancy instead of writing explicitly array at zero and array of one uh, the equivalent of writing this is we could just spread the array using the spread operator. So that is pretty much the same thing as writing this. It just grabs our array, separates every element by a comma, and puts it in here. And I will do so like so. Let's see if this still gives us 60, and it appears that it does. Hey guys, thank you again so much for joining me in this free CodeCamp JavaScript tutorials. Today we did the smallest common multiple. Tomorrow, or I think it'll be tomorrow, but the next time we meet, we'll be doing Drop It. I suggest you guys check this one out, try doing it yourself, and come join me. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing JavaScript tutorials on the weekdays and fun projects whether I'm using React or whatever, I'll be releasing those on weekends. So please stay tuned for future content. Thank you guys for watching this. See you guys next time.